Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to change the coordinate system in Google Earth. And you want to change the coordinate system if you will use for example the image to attach it to your AutoCAD drawing. And if we look in the bottom of Google Earth we can see that they are not using the same coordinate system. They are using the one with degrees and then we have hours, minutes and seconds. But when we draw in AutoCAD, we normally use the UTM reference system. And to change it to the UTM, we can go to the Functions menu and then select uh, Options. And if we go to the 3D ribbon, then we can change it to the UTM system down here. And also we want to change it so we have it in meters and kilometers. Just click down here. Say apply. And also you probably notice when you zoom in in Google Earth that it will tilt once you get closer to the object. And if we need an image for an AutoCAD drawing we want to see it more or less straight from the top. So to change this function we'll go to navigation and then we can mark this part up here and then say apply and OK and now we can see in the bottom that the coordinate system has been changed and also if I zoom in on an object we can see that it will not tilt but it will just zoom directly to the object the next step is if we want to use this image in AutoCAD then we need to have some uh, reference points and to place the reference points we can select this pin up here and then we can um, just move the box then we can just move the pin somewhere outside our project area it could be here and we can see we have the coordinates right here so what I want to do is to um, copy the copy the coordinates so control C and then I want to put it up here control V and put in a comma and again control C control V say OK and now I just need one more coordinate so I'm able to scale it within AutoCAD so again just select the pin and then I can place the coordinate and copy the coordinates into the title and say OK to this and then to get an image I can just click on the link or the icon up here and then I can save the image And if you want to scale it into AutoCAD, I will recommend you to take a look at the tutorial that I made on how to scale an image based on some reference points.